Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you an easy and hassle-free way to disable or enable encryption protocols in Windows using IIS Crypto. So if you're ready, let's dive right in. Now, before we begin, let me give you a quick overview of what encryption protocols are. Encryption protocols are a set of algorithms that determine the security protocols and the encryption methods used for establishing a secure connection between a client and a server. These encryption protocols are SSL 2.0, 3.0, and TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. While they are crucial for ensuring secure communication, there might be situations where you need to disable specific protocols for various reasons. For example, if you want to enhance the security, there might be a time when you got to disable older protocols like SSL 2.0, 3.0, TLS 1.0, 1.1, and 1.2, and just stick with TLS 1.3, which is the newest version. Now, I just want to mention when you disable these older protocols, keep in mind that some applications or services running on your computer might still depend on them. Disabling these older protocols can make these applications stop working. If you come across a situation like this, reach out to the application vendor and check if they support newer protocols or just undo these changes. All right, so if you want to turn off or turn on these encryption protocols in Windows, we have this tool called IIS Crypto, which makes it super easy. So instead of messing around with the registry yourself, just use IIS Crypto and it will do all the necessary changes for you. Let's dive in and get started. First, go ahead and download IIS Crypto from the official website. I will type IIS Crypto in google.com and hit search. In the first link that shows up, which is NARTAC software, just click on download under that. Scroll down a little and click on download under IIS Crypto GUI. Once it is downloaded, there's no need to install it. So I'm going to go into downloads folder. I'll right click on IIS Crypto and run as administrator. I'll click on accept on the license agreement. The list includes protocols from SSL 2.0 to the newest version TLS 1.3. In my case, I'm running this tool on an older version of Windows 10, so that's why it is not listing TLS 1.3. And the list will also display the security protocols which are turned on, turned off, or grayed out. The protocols that are turned on will have a black checkbox, while the protocols that are turned off will not have a checkbox. You can see in my case, it shows the grayed out checkboxes. So the grayed out ones mean that no specific setting has been chosen and the default setting for the operating system is being used. So to disable a set of encryption protocols, simply uncheck the corresponding box. I will disable SSL 2.0, 3.0, TLS 1.0, TLS 1.1, and I will enable TLS 1.2. And I'll do the same thing for client protocols as well. SSL 2.0, 3.0, TLS 1.0, 1.1, and I will enable TLS 1.2. Now, after you have made your desired changes, select the checkbox Reboot and click on the Apply button. So now the computer will be rebooted. IIS Crypto will apply the changes and update the configuration for you. And that's it. You have successfully disabled the encryption protocols in Windows using IIS Crypto. Pretty easy, right? Well, that wraps up today's video on how to disable or enable encryption protocols in Windows using IIS Crypto. I hope you found this video helpful and easy to follow. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more Windows tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.